So I've received a lot of messages in my DM about how I got to learn Flutter easier and faster and also how different is it from React Native. So in today's video, I would like to show you how that was possible. So with that said, let's jump right in. So coming from a React Native background, whenever I decided to replicate an app or UI, I always start to break everything into components. That way it looks much easier. So one key difference between these two frameworks is that Flutter uses a declarative style of programming, while React Native uses imperative style of programming. So what do I mean by that? This means that with Flutter, you describe what your app should look like, and the framework takes care of building the UI for you. Unlike the React Native, where you have to write code to build each component of your UI separately. So taking this UI, for instance, breaking it into components will consist of the app bar session, and also the test session, the search input component, the last connection component, the active project session, and lastly, the bottom navigation session. That's how I will first of all view it before I just start building it. So when you decide to break this into components, it will look much easier. Then you go to start with the app bar session. And the app bar session basically consists of the profile, picture, the name, and also the notification. And there is a space between them. And also with the app bar session, there are different ways you can go about it. Why am I use the app bar property in the scaffold? So one also can use the row widget. So within the row, it has a children property where you can place all these items. Flat also provides the circle avatar. You have the test widget and also the icons. So when you place all these items within the row, automatically they'll be aligned horizontally then you go to specify the main axis alignment whether to be space between space around or spacing really if you think of it that way it will be done within the shortest possible time you'll be doing the same thing for the test session but that way it's aligned vertically so instead of putting it in a row that will be in the column so we'll be having two tests with what one for the tax for the day and also one with what the written you are done with that session then you move to the search input component which basically consists of a test field widget within that there is a place where of a search and also there is an icon and it also takes in a decoration which in turn also takes in the boss decoration and give the styling you want you are done with the search input component then you go to the last connection component so with the last connection component see two tests that are aligned the row so what comes into mind just a row widget and place the two within that then beneath that is going to be what the profile avatar so you just need to wrap the row within what the column and the column in turn takes in the children so we have a big column that contains what the test and also the circle avatar but the tests are two and the two tests are what being aligned horizontally so you need to wrap the test world within the row widget then they play the two tests within it then use the main axis alignment whether to play it what space between space around or evenly depending on how you want it and also with the active project session so you know what comes into mind you first of all we'll be having a container within that container we'll be having the test of active project and also the test button of co and they are what align horizontally so they will be placed in the row widget and use the main axis alignment to align them horizontally beneath that is a card and a test within it so so that card you can think of it as a container and give some decoration to it by rounding the corners by using the boss decoration and also within that card this is a chart property where you can specify all these tests and these tests are being what align vertically so what comes into mind is what a column widget and place all these tests with it, within it that's so the last one is the bottom navigation bar where flutter provides the bottom navigation bar within the scaffold widget and specify your different icons so this is basically how i got to learn flutter easier due to how i lay out things right coming from the react native background so when i decided to learn you can see Flutter provides all the widgets you need just to what style your app. As I said earlier, the creative style of programming, we just describe what your app should look like. Then 
the framework just start building it for you see you in our next tutorial until then stay tuned